guys welcome back to my channel and day 19 of inktober today's dark story is hansel and gretel so i think that we all kind of know the story of hansel and gretel and the old woman that's a witch with a with the house made of candy and along the lines of that um this fairy tale is originally a Grimm's Brothers fairy tale, and I reread it a couple days ago, and I was horrified <laughs> by this story. I couldn't believe what I was reading. Like, I, you know, like how you think you know the fairy tale, and then you actually go and read the original version of it. Um, and let me just say that this story puts Cinderella's stepmother to shame. Like, this woman is absolutely horrible. I was going to try to read that straight from the Grimm's fairy tale book to you guys, but there's a lot of weird old English in there, and I found myself tripping over the words, and then I found myself running out of time by the time the, uh, the video was done, so I'll just kind of summarize it for you. Um, basically, it's this man and his two children and he had married another woman that was not his mother or their the kid's mother and they're really poor so during the night while him and his wife are in bed she convinces him that if they keep the kids that they're going to starve to death and she comes up with this plan to basically leave them out in the woods and fend for themselves but Hansel is a little bit smarter and he he finds these shiny pebbles in the in the gravel in front of the house and he goes out in the middle of the night because the kids had overheard this so <laughs> if you think your stepmom is bad this this woman like actually plots their murder and these kids they they get to hear it so Gretel's freaking out and Hansel goes out and grabs all these shiny, shiny pebbles to find their way back to the house. And I didn't know about the pebbles. I thought it was just the bread, but it, the first round is the pebbles. And eventually they, the children find their way home and, uh, and the stepmom's, you know, not pleased. And she's like, um, yeah, we're still going to starve and these kids need to go. So the next day they do the same thing except Hansel had already picked up all the pebbles that glue or glowed or shone in the dark or whatever the terminology that they used. And so they used part of the bread that they had had. And naturally all the animals ate the bread so they couldn't find their way home. They end up finding this house and it's made of candy and they start eating it. And there's a witch in there and she puts Hansel in the stall and the sister has to fatten up her brother and it's like this whole horrific story um so gretel ends up pushing the witch into the the oven and then ha lets gretel or lets hansel out and then they steal all of the jewelry and pearls and stuff that they had had and they eventually find their way back home there's something with a river and a turtle at some point in the plot but it's not that important so they take all these jewels and they find their father in a pub mourning the loss of his wife. So uh, thankfully she ends up dying. So that, that's a plus. But they they share all these jewels with, with their father and they're like really happy about it. And I just found it so disturbing. Like if I was in that situation, I definitely would not be trying to go back home. Like he basically tried to kill me too. Like I, I would take the all the jewelry and just run with my sister. So I find the story very disturbing. Um, and I definitely think that the whole stepmother scenario, like you end up really hating the one in Cinderella, but if you actually read this story, you are gonna hate this lady and you're just like totally thrown, like who, who, who does that? Like I, I'm just so blown away by the whole story and that there was no other options other than to kill the children. So after reading that, I originally, in the very beginning of Inktober, I had um, different pieces in mind for this one, and it was a kitchen scene, 
and I decided that the witch ends up eating the kids instead because <laughs> I didn't like the ending of the story, but I it was horizontal, so I had to rework it and I decided on this one. Here are some close-ups of the piece. As you can see, I added some red, gold, and bronze in there just to give it a little bit of life. And um, if you guys like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more, and don't forget to pop over to Courtney's channel to see what she put up for today. Um, I'm hoping this video goes up in time. I did some kink working out with my internet connection and stuff, so I'm hoping that my problems are over and we can stay up to date. The Inktober collaboration playlist is on your screen. The word of the day is pinned in the comments, and I will see you guys tomorrow.